with just an update on my dry cell. Been running it for several hours now, conditioning the cells. Today it's been on for about three hours. Uh, made a slight modification to the cell. I've actually put balance pipes in now from either side of the cell. If you notice the actual supply line which comes in the bottom here is also looped to the other side and the same going for the gas output which goes off back to the reservoir tank which goes in to the top. The reason I've done that was because um, the on the sub supply side one pipe wasn't sufficient to let the gas out. I was finding that if it was only supplying this side with no gas out on this side the gas would actually pressurise this and the liquid level would drop but putting the balance pipes in seemed to have uh, stopped that issue and now it's, con it's constantly maintaining a level which is uh, good because it, uh, the current is steady like I say it's been on for about 2-3 hours today 24, 24 amps, nearly 25 amps and the temperature is quite stable now, 63, 64 degrees C so, seems to be a little bit of residue coming back into the um, tank I'm wondering whether that is to do with the brass fittings that I've installed whether they're releasing a little bit of brass into the electrolyte but when we give it a clean we'll have a look and see if there's any deterioration anyway so that's the only difference today is the uh, balance pipes but uh, it certainly is putting out some gas now I'm going to have to do some uh, litres per minute tests on this because uh, it seems really really producing a lot of gas at the moment but we'll see we'll, we'll do the conditioning for uh, two or three more days and then we'll strip it down and change the configuration to something that uh, might be helpful for my vehicle there you go just an update